All right, so let's jump into yet another Patreon listener question. If you are interested in being part of the Transformer Slag Patreon, be sure to check the description below or patreon.com. And if you join the Patreon and want to support the podcast, depending on the tiers, you could get your name in the credits and the end scrolls. Ask questions that will be fleshed out on the podcast like today. You get to join the special Patreon Discord. And you might even get a special little gift in the physical mail. Not email, physical mail. So we got a Patreon listener question, and it comes from Massive Gains. And he asks... Hey, hey, Proto Man, my question is, who do you think will appear in the Netflix War for Cybertron Earthrise show? We don't have a release date yet, but I'm kind of curious, who do you think will be in the cast? Do you think we'll get some surprises or non-toy characters? Keep up the great work. Massive gains. So this, um, this, this question has come up quite a bit uh, through various circles, and... I think I talked about it actually on the Discord very briefly. I don't remember, but I know that the that the conversation has come up. I just forget which circle that I I did it in. But one thing that I did mention was that uh, you just got to kind of look at how Siege was handled, and it really gives you a strong indicator of probably how they're going to tackle the Earthrise Netflix series, or Chapter 2, whatever they want to call it for War for Cybertron. Now, like, when you look at Siege, you just got to kind of, like I always say, you got to follow the money. So, like, Siege made sure, like, if you we'll, we'll do this backwards from the price point of toys, and that'll indicate who is in the cast, you know? If you go backwards, Siege made sure that the big expensive toys were going to be in it. So, Omega Supreme was in it. They made sure that their commander class was in it, so Jetfire was in it and featured heavily. You know, um, they made sure that all the Voyagers were there, with the exception, like if you look at all the Siege Voyagers, um, excuse me, not Voyagers, leader class. Excuse me, let me take that back. All the leader classes were there, and if you look at all the leader classes, the only leader class that was actually left out was the Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. Only because, well, you can't have two Optimuses in the same spot. But, I mean, all the others were there. Every single other leader class toy was represented properly. And when you look at even the Voyagers, everybody was there with the exception of Springer and Apeface. And, oddly enough, those are the only two that are triple changers. So maybe they were kind of going like, eh, that's a character model. That's a little too complicated for us. We'll leave that out. So they pretty much cover all the expensive toys. And then when you dive into stuff like even the deluxes, you know, they made sure that every single deluxe was represented in the show, with the exception of Brunt and Six Gun, and they were weaponizers. I guess maybe they just felt, oh, you know, we have COG, we only need one weaponizer, good enough. And again, because it's kind of, you know, they're weird six chain, uh, it's not six changers, th triple changers kind of things, maybe because co how complicated their, their character designs would be to represent that. That's my understanding. And, of course, uh, Crosshairs was left out. But I think Crosshairs was left out, and it's going to be leading into the last thing I said. All the cheap price points were left out of Siege, the, the Netflix series. So Micromasters, Battlemasters, they all didn't matter. They were the cheap price point. They weren't trying to sell the cheap price point. So they were just like, ah, we're not going to put those guys in the show. Obviously, Soundwaves, you know, Cassette Minions, they kind of fall under that Micromaster price point. But they're Soundwave's minions. How do you not have, you know, Laserbeak and Ravage? That's just, you know, that's iconic. But like all the other Micromasters, as much as I love them, uh, they were left out. Battlemasters too. You know, we didn't have Rung. Look, and he, again, like Rung was in the, the Ultra Magnus spoiler box. And he still wasn't in the show. So that cheap price point, not important when, I guess, Hasbro or Netflix is trying to tell that story. So it's all like following the money. Follow the money, there's your answer right there. You already know kind of a little bit of what they're going to go with because anything cheap is not going to be featured. And then when you look at something like the stuff that wasn't part of mainline Siege, when you look at like store exclusives and stuff like that, yeah, you know, that's where you kind of have to pick and choose. Yeah, they used, uh, you know, Re Reflector slash Reflactor and, and his team. They picked so uh, Sound Blaster out of the repaints. They used, uh, obviously, like the, the Seeker 3-pack of Acid Storm and Ion Storm and, and all of that. Uh, obviously, the fan vote was going to be featured, 
so the fan vote of Hollow Mirage and and uh, Impactor, you know, they were featured, and they were featured even in the point that there was a tension between them. So they made sure to have that. Although Argon was left out, Aragon, excuse me, was left out of it. And then of course, you know, got to have that last Seeker of Skywarp, that special uh, Phantom Strike Squadron pack. He was also in it. Walgreens exclusive rat- Ratchet. So again, all of those dudes, more or less, you know, even the store exclusives kind of found their place in the show. None of the Transformer uh, Hasbro Select stuff, though, from Siege were featured. So no Combat Megatron or the Power Dashers or Lancer or Nightbird or Hotshot, you know, Red Wing. Although Red Wing might have been in the background, who knows? But, I mean, it's a Seeker jet. I'm pretty sure they must have repainted something, kind of. But the point is, is that the, the primary focus of money of mainline Siege found its place in the TV series. So now using that frame of mind, you then look at, okay, well, who was in the Siege show that wasn't in the Siege toy line? Well, obviously we had Bumblebee, we had RC, we had Wheeljack. And those three right there ended up appearing in Earthrise. So also the Siege TV show will probably be the same thing like with the Earthrise TV show. It might feature some characters from the next series. So we might have the in the Earthrise TV show characters that'll appear from Kingdom. Just a possibility. And then when you look at, uh, there were some characters that were created specifically for that TV show. So Alita 1, which was just a RC repaint from Earthrise. Uh, Moonracer, which was, again, just a, a straight-up Chromia repaint. And uh, Alpha Trion, who was a ghost, so they weren't going to make a toy anyways. But the point is, is that... Uh, there was even some show exclusive kind of characters in a lot of ways too. So now that we've established that that kind of foundation, let's go into Earthrise. So let's follow the money. So what's the big fancy expensive toy in Earthrise? So it's Scorponok. So probably, if I was a betting man, Scorponok's gonna be a major contender player in the story of the Earthrise TV series. Same thing with the Commander class. We have Skylinks, probably going to be featured at some point. Considering that the story is the Cybertronians, Autobots, and Decepticons traveling through space, landing on planets before getting to Earth, and just like space adventures, it's no surprise that we're probably going to have a nebulous kind of planet master, whatever they're going to want to call it, Scorponok encounter with a Lord Zarek, perhaps. And because it's space adventures, having Skylinks, a space shuttle, uh, is probably going to play into it too. Who knows how they're going to play out his character, but that'll be that. And then when you move down to the leader class as well, it's Optimus Prime. So you're going to obviously have that Optimus Prime. The classic Optimus Prime trailer is going to make its appearance in this. Uh, how he's going to get that new body, I have no idea if he's on a planet that isn't Earth, but I'm pretty sure they'll explain it. And of course, Double Dealer, we've seen him in a lot of the Earthrise promotional material. It's no surprise that he's probably going to play a role in the story too. And Astro Train was a filler from the Earthrise line from Siege, and he made his little appearance in the Siege cartoon. When we get into the Voyagers, Megatron, it's going to be a given. And then here's a special one also, the Quintesson Judge. Uh, I think Quintessons are going to play a big part also in the story with uh, Scorponok. So that's that's my firm belief is that the Quintessons and Scorponok are going to be the 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 definite like surrounding point of the the story of the six episodes, assuming it's six episodes of Netflix Earthrise. And then you go down it. So you got Snapdragon. I don't know. Maybe they won't want to use him just like they didn't use Ape Face. The triple changer is too complicated. Then we got Grapple, and we got Starscream. I could see them being in it. And then when you go into the deluxes, you know, Trailbreaker, Fast Track, uh, probably because of Scorponok, Fast Track will be there, uh, Sunstreaker, Runamuck, uh, RC, we already have the character model, so expect her, uh, the, Quint- uh, the Quintesson Alicon, again, if the Quintessons are in it, he's probably going to be in it too, that'll be the army builder, because they're going to need army builders, we saw from the Siege show how many army builders there were and just repaints, so those Alicons, oh yeah, they're going to be plenty of them. Uh, Smokescreen, Hoist, Wheeljack, we already have the model. Cliff Jumper, we already kind of saw Cliff Jumper, even though it was kind of off model. The only one that I'm kind of questioning is the modulators, Ironworks and Airwave, uh, if they're going to be featured or if they're going to be kind of left out. That's the one I'm kind of on the fence of. And of course, like I said before, those Battle Masters, 
Sound Barrier, Smashdown, Slither Fang, Rung, uh, Double Crosser, probably not going to appear. Same thing with the, the Micromaster price point, so we're probably not going to get uh, Bomb Shock and Growl and Direct Hit, unfortunately. That's uh, an unfortunate part. I get a feeling they're going to be left out again. And then when you're looking at store exclusives, they're, you know we're going to obviously have Sky Warp and Thundercracker, that, that Seeker 2-pack. Uh, we're obviously going to... I get a feeling we're going to have the Coneheads too, because it's just so easy to just have those character models. So Ramjet and Dirge will get featured. And of course, like also the Ironhide and Prowl, the models are already there. Just retool them a bit, and you're uh, good to go. They're already on the ship. So, and then when you get into the Generation Select stuff, like I said, all the Generation Select stuff from the previous... Uh, Siege series didn't get featured in the show so looking at the Generation Select stuff they have now um, that probably won't be the case although uh, FJ DeSanto did say they want to use more of the of the third faction of the mercenaries and considering that the Generation Selects line has like people like Exhaust um, maybe Exhaust will make an appearance but maybe not we don't know we shall see but that pretty much gives us a good indicator of who will be there like what i just listed out like so just it it's pretty clear that those will be the products and what will be the feature again especially when you follow the money they made sure that the commander class toy in jetfire and siege was was heavily like featured they made sure that the leader class toys had a good you know focus with the exception of astro train showing up at the end and scorponok you know being the parallel to that of uh, No Omega Supreme, Omega Supreme was like the big woo at the end of the of the show. Now the question then is, so we have all of this. What is going to be then uh, the non-show characters? Well, non-toy line characters that'll appear in the show. Now there might be some Kingdom stuff that might pop up at the end to kind of bridge the gap, or alternatively, much like how in the Siege TV series. You know, Bumblebee from Earthrise, you know, or RC from Earthrise, or Wheeljack from Earthrise. I'm pretty sure there'll be some kind of bridge to the next toy line. And then the better question of them all is, is, is Earthrise going to have its own Earthrise Netflix subline, just like had Siege, Siege had like Siege Netflix subline at Walmart? A uh, strong possibility. We might get some of these molds repainted as other characters. I mean, we, we've always had, we had that listing for the longest time of a G1 Inferno that's supposed to be part of Kingdom, but who knows, maybe we'll get a, a G1 Inferno of the Earthrise Netflix, and it'll just be used from the, the grapple. There's so many different possibilities with that one, because again, what did that give us? It gave us Alita 1 as an exclusive character that appeared in the show. So, And of course, it gave us a few other ones, like the Decepticon Mirage, which did appear in the show, and and the, uh, I think it was called Scraper, or Scrapper, um, you know, which didn't get used in the show, oddly enough. But the point being is uh, that kind of gives us a, it's a good roadmap. It gives us a good roadmap and it gives us a really strong indication and stuff that I would really bet on in terms of what the story is going to be, which is, you know, Scorponok, Skylinks, Quintessons, um, you know, having uh, Optimus in that new body, Double Dealer, which is going to be a mercenary. Watch this. Um and again, it's it's that's that's kind of the the roadmap that I see. And all I have to do is just kind of look at you know the players that FJ DeSanto and the whole crew have to work with. They're handed all those toys, and I'm pretty sure Hasbro kind of just took all those Battle Masters and Micro Masters and said, eh, ignore these guys, ignore these guys. These guys, um, we don't want people playing with these we, because those are the cheapy stuff. And I think that's why I, I lean more on the modulators, my, you know, like Ironworks and, and Airwave might get left out because of how much of a MicroMaster tie they have to it. I hope I'm wrong because I love MicroMasters. But I just kind of see that if they only have so many character models they can make and what they're trying to sell on store shelves, uh, it just kind of makes more sense. Even though by the time the Siege... TV series comes out, we might already be knee deep in Kingdom at that point. Much like how, when the Siege TV, when C, excuse me, when Earthrise TV series comes out, uh, we might be knee deep in Kingdom. Much like how, when the Siege TV series came out, we were already knee deep in Earthrise. So, with very few Siege product on the shelf, if any at all, short of like ordering from Amazon and you know Walmart online. So it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting question, and that's why I really wanted to dive deep and, and touch everything that I could 
and try to make sense of it all for you massive gains because there's a lot of you know i always say with transformers you really got to look at the past and it really is a strong indicator of what they want to do um hasbro is very transparent a lot of times sometimes with um what works and what doesn't work and i mean you just got to look at where the money is and that kind of gives your answer so i hope that that helps a little bit i really do but i mean i think we kind of in a lot of ways really gave the cast obviously some of the characters from the previous season from siege is going to obviously be there too they already did the character models why scrap them but to add to that list uh an army build from them too you know you know for a fact that you know hoist or i don't know uh trailbreaker there might be a whole bunch of multicolored ones running around or, or sunstreakers oh, i hope not i really hope not um but yeah yeah sunstreaker we might get that uh that, that red sunstreaker running around who knows anyways thanks again for the question of massive gains hope it answers everything that you were hoping to hear and once again if you are interested in being part of the transformer slag patreon and asking a patreon listener question patreon.com forward slash proto man or check the description below and come join us support the podcast join us on the discord and have a good time and hopefully when Earthrise, this tv series comes out um my my answer is just as close as i hoped it is <laughs>